Hey everyone, it's time for a fresh dose of Huber Syndrome. Hey everyone, it's time for round three of Huber Syndrome. We're talking about a game and an epic movie today. You've been warned. I don't know why you've been warned. There, there's, everything's fine. We're, we're jolly today. We're talking about Far Cry Primal. Far Cry Primal is a textbook example of a game that grew on me over time. Story time. Let's go back. We'll go back to Far Cry 4. A game that in my mind is devoid of original and fresh ideas. But I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter still, years later, that Far Cry 4 beat out Wolfenstein New Order for Game Trailers Shooter of the Year. I'm not bitter at all. Which brings us back to Far Cry Primal. A game that takes risks. Hear me out. You're in a Ubisoft backroom meeting hall where the shady deals go down in droves, okay? Some guy comes in, he goes, yo, let's make a first person shooter where you have like three weapons. You have a club, a spear, and a bow and arrow. What? Are, are you crazy? You need, the, you need the machine guns. You need the, the laser sights and the attachments and the gold weapon skins. That is exactly what is not in Far Cry Primal. You are in the Stone Age in this game. Now, for me personally, I have never really played a game in the Stone Age. I know they're out there now, like uh, Ark Survival, and, and I'm sure there's a bunch of games on, you know, Steam, page 38, new releases, like 500 Stone Age games. But for me, this was the first time I was in the Stone Age. And that is the best part about video games for me, is they take me to worlds where I could never be. Like another Ubisoft game, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, putting me in London at that time, or, or all the Assassin's Creed for that matter. Just so many times when I'm playing these games, I, I stand there and I just look around and I let it wash over me. And that's exactly what I find myself doing all the time in Far Cry Primal. Now some of you that know me intimately, you're saying, you know what Huber? I know what you're up to, you're biased. I know you, I know your tricks. It's just because you can get a pet bear that you like this game. And you know what I say to you? It helps. Of course it helps. You can tame all of these wild animals and sick them on the enemies. And there's a button to just pet your furry bear and it's just so adorable. And then five seconds later, it's mauling someone to death Revenant style, biting their face off. It's just a great mechanic and I was a little late to the party. They added a survivor mode where your animal, if it dies, it's permanent and you have to go tame a new one. That is high stakes animal. That animal is my, my, my friend, it's my companion, it's Bowser the Bear. If anyone touches that thing, I get really emotional and really upset. It is more meaningful to me than any human companion in a game I could think of. Take that, Ellie. It's time for the syndrome. All right, no disrespect to Far Cry Primal, it's a hell of a game, but the real reason we're here today is because I wanted an excuse to talk about Apocalypto. Now, Apocalypto isn't in the Stone Age, but it's a long, long time ago, and, it, and Far Cry Primal just gave me those vibes. Now, say what you will about Mel Gibson, he's kind of out there, he's different, you know, we're all different. We're all here on this earth, and uh, sometimes we do bad things and make bad decisions, but you can't take away the fact that he is a hell of a filmmaker, and Apocalypto is a masterpiece, an unsung masterpiece that deserves to be in the upper pantheon of American cinema. Apocalypto is grounded and realistic and authentic. It just 
oozes off the screen. You feel it from that opening hunt all the way to the last frame. And what makes the movie resonate with me, what makes it so powerful is the human connection between the main character and his family. That just drives the urgency. It makes everything in that movie high stakes and meaningful. Apocalypto hype, check it out. Also, Far Cry Primal, if you're in the mood for a little hunting and gathering and uh, just being in the Stone Age. That's why video games are beautiful. You're just, you're in the Stone Age, you're just hanging out. So if you want to talk about the game or the movie, post in the comments or tweet at Michael P. Huber. Let me know what you think. And if you want to help support us, we are at Easy Allies. Follow us on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Patreon. We have a bunch of shows and we stream just about every single day. And thanks for watching. See you next week.